Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Hebrews 12 of the King James Version Bible and it reads Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye are wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, as unto children, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if he, if ye be without chast chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chast chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. No, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable, the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up your hands which hang down and the feeble knees. And make straight ways for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Look in diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring in up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more, for they could not endure that which was commanded, and if so much as the beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake, but ye are come unto Mount Sion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the sins of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things, than that of Abel. See that ye refuse not that speaketh, for if they escapeth not, who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. 
Wherefore we receive in a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Okay guys, so in this chapter it speaks to the fact that we are chastened of God. And when we're chastened of God, it's not because he despises us. It's not because he doesn't want us to excel. But it's because he wants us to walk worthy of him. He wants us to be able to walk in his truth. And if he does not correct us, and if he does not lead us on the right path, then we will not gain the salvation that he wants us to gain that Jesus Christ died on the cross so that we may receive right also <coughs> so we need to remember that the blood was shed for us and we need not to seek to defile this blood this holy blood that was shed for us because when we do not do according to the will of God. That is what we do. And so he needs us to walk in alignment with him and to actually receive what he had intended for us. I mean, this chapter was very straightforward, right? So, I mean, I'm just being repetitive here by actually going over this. So, guys i'm gonna leave that right there but please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye